to go. They were down by 10. Kurt Gidley moves in now to win the game for Newcastle. Gidley strikes the ball. He's coming back. He's going to kick it. Hey guys, it's Stan and Thunder here and welcome to another podcast, the Nova Castrians podcast. And sadly, it's not much of a good podcast because uh, we face our first defeat, bad defeat of all kind of defeats. I-, I can deal with losses as long as we showed effort, because we showed no effort 10 minutes after the half time. Uh, like, you could, before you say I'm unloyal, I just couldn't, you just showed no effort. If you show effort and you still get smashed, I'm still going to stay to the 80th minute. So, the, the, the game was... I was at the game at Elliott Stadium against the Roosters, and the Roosters weren't that great. Like it was wet conditions, which you can can forgive us for, but yeah, just bad defensive misreads and a little bit of a little bit of poor discipline. Before anyone criticizes the referees, I I always criticize our players when we play bad. If it's a referee's decision, I'll criticize the ref. But if it's us that's doing it, I'll criticize us. But um, there was a few c- contentious calls, but not enough to say we were robbed. Neither the case, so the only try we scored was from Aiden Guerra, who I admit he's actually done well with us, defensively, so he scored the first try off a nice kick from Mitchell Pierce under the post, so we got that, then we then, then took a shot at goal, like, dude, I know it's wet weather and you take points from in front, but you're, ch- you're, you're chasing points, I, I disagree with that, it's not rugby union, we've seen a lot of teams take the two points now, like, I think rugby league is turning into a union now, T- captains in this pointing to the, the post to take two points so I like the strategy but not in wet weather and especially when you're chasing points because we were chasing eight points and and just before half time they scored and there was just so many negatives and negatives in this game that I had to leave I, I left the game like oh no this is pathetic effort even Nathan Brown himself admitted they were building up nicely in the second half and then they, then they just dropped off and some players, I'm not going to show, say all players, some players did well in this game. wasn't the worst game I've ever seen, but pretty bad. Because every time I see no effort, I'm going to leave. All I want to see is effort. I don't care if you lose every other game, but as long as you've made the team work their ass off to win. And we didn't make the Roosters only win, I, I'm sorry to say. But that was the only try scored, and there was that penalty goal from Kalon Ponga. But one black who... There's a few little, a few little positives I can take. Very small. Herman S A S A and Slade Griffin are doing good, because S A S A had 33 tackles. Aiden followed 32, and um, Slade Griffin, like, he's tough. I, I like. I, I think this is a, an underrated buy. I like, like, he's gone under the radar nicely, Slade Griffin. Like, I could see why Nathan Brown's bought him. He's done a good job. He's although he's playing in a team that's losing at the moment. We we, we will get better. I hope. I hope because we've got the Dragons next week, and that's going to be a that's going to be a tough tough night. So we had Slade Griffin on turn nine tackles, so he, the kid can tackle. So that's defensive defense stock that we have added from the off season. That's pretty good. But uh, run meters once again, Kalon Ponga continues to impress. The the problem was no support. Kalon Ponga broke the line with 100, 171 run meters. That's fantastic. He broke the line and no one went with him. You look at the big teams like the Melbourne Storms or, I don't know, maybe Kemmer Raiders. Blake Costin's always a good support player. Like, someone makes a line break. He's always there on the inside or on the outside. And that wins a lot of games. We could have scored points for, off it because Kalen Ponga is just tearing. He tore the Roosters' defence apart. But since we dropped the ball a little bit of the times, not, we didn't drop it a lot. We dropped it in the worst times and gave possession back to the Roosters. And you can't do that to a team with Cooper Cronk, Blake Ferguson. Did I say Cooper Cronk already? Yes, and James Tedesco. And that, that scary thing is their combo hasn't even formed yet. That like it could be another Slater Cronk combination again, which we which we didn't need. So but the problem the problem is the Roosters are a good side, but we didn't make them, we didn't make them work for that. You can say it was the wet weather conditions, but no, you've got to be better because we completed at 67%. That's not going to win you a football games. The great Andrew Johns once said, effort will keep you, win game, keep you in games, but execution will win you games. Not all of them, but you'll find a high percentage of winning games once you've completed your sets. It's really that easy. You hold on to the ball. Like, there were some good tackles. There was another positive I did like. I was freaking Mitchell Pierce smashing his old teammate Jake Friend, which I wanted to see because... You know, 
you're still probably feeling a bit emotional because it was his first club because it always has a special place in his heart which I could admire like you've got to perform good against your old team I get that but the next um, run meters is him and SAS are like this kid is tough he's tough I, I'm going to say he's another good good buy like I didn't know much about him just, just as I did Slade Griffin I didn't know anything about him I heard that he was a good player but nothing else I really didn't watch a lot of Broncos game on channel and I really should do that so I, so I can analyse players, see their weaknesses and strengths. But Sean Kenny Dell did it right with 105 metres against his old club. There are so many Roosters players, like part of the night side now. But uh, the good, here's the good and good and the bad moments. The uh, Connor Watson, I think it was a shoulder injury. He, it was said that he had missed 10 weeks, but he's going to miss six weeks, which is good. But at the same time, it sucks because he's a good player. I don't know where he fits into the squad as a 5 8 because I don't think it's working out. I think it's got to be Lamb, because I think Lamb's a good player. He's forming a good com combination with Lachlan Fitzgibbon. But the problem is, like, I think he could be... Connor Watson should be a bloody utility. I feel like he could be, do it anyway, because I'm pretty sure he played a bit of center in a, the Sydney Rooster side, but had some defensive problems. But you've kind of got to adjust. So I, I just don't... He offers nothing in attack, and I've... I've watched every game he plays and analysed everything, and it, uh, yeah, he's not a five eighth. He's a he's a utility player. He might be a backup five eighth, but that's that's I'm um, that's as far as I'm willing to go. But uh, in the good and the bad moments, there was an absolute shocking decision where I think Luke Carey was two meters offside and not given offside. This is what pisses fans off. I'm pissed off. Uh, we're not we're not we're not we were not robbed. The referee, uh, I don't get this. They put one million dollars in the bunker and. You miss an obvious two, a player offside by two meters. He's cleanly offside, and there's no other angle to say otherwise. We saw, we all saw it, and no one just bothered. No one bothered. So, he was. There was another, but we did get a bit of the, the rubber, the freaking green. We didn't get it. So, as bad. I'm not willing to blame the referees in this because we were we were our own worst enemy in this game. So, and. Like I said, after that first 10 minutes where we built nicely, then kept surrendering possession back to the Roosters, I left the game. I, I'm sorry to do I hate to do it, but you've got to perform better than that. Show some effort. Uh, Knights fans don't care about the results. Knights, us Knights fans care about the effort shown. Because I can deal with bit and smash as long as we will effort, and the, the team we're playing is a better team. So. And like... So, but then again, there was the ill-discipline. Yes, yeah, some of them weren't penalties, and some of it was that bad call from the referees. But then again, I said it. I said it. We were our own worst enemy. We made errors. We gave the possession right back to Sydney. You can't do that to any team. So, before I end this short little podcast, I will be doing a, a Q and A soon once I get my friends on. I feel it would be because me and Chris are Knights fans up the nights. We will do Q and As, and I'll, I'm probably like look to extend this podcast by adding different subjects I want to talk about, like maybe like funny awards, like funny moments in their game, like or like the underrated moment of the game that may have changed it. So this is the Down Under Thunder podcast out. And once again, I hope you like the intro. I like the intro. Down Under Thunder out again.